Relays are the most convenient way to control high-voltage electric appliances with a microcontroller. So, in this video, we will create an IoT project, in which we will manage four relays using an ESP32 microcontroller, and control them using a mobile app, Alexa, and Google Home. The most exciting thing is that we will not write a single line of code. So stick around, and welcome to SD Robotics. First, try to understand what IoT, or the Internet of Technology in a nutshell. IoT stands for Internet of Things, which refers to the network of physical objects or things that are connected to the Internet and can communicate with other devices and systems. This allows for the collection and sharing of data, as well as the ability to control and monitor devices and systems remotely. The popular development boards that are ideal for creating IoT projects include the ESP8266 and ESP32. It includes built-in Wi-Fi capabilities, making it easy to connect to the internet and other devices on a network. It has become widely popular among hobbyists and professionals for its low cost and versatility. We will utilize KDO firmware and the KDO mobile app to develop this project. For both the ESP8266 and the ESP32 development boards, KDO firmware is available. We can communicate with our IoT devices using local networks as well as using the internet from anywhere in the globe by using the KDO app. We will also be able to access our IoT device by connecting Amazon Alexa and Google Home to the KDO account. To control your gadgets, KDO also supports physical switch, RF, and infrared remotes. You can program your devices using timers and schedules. You may connect a variety of sensors and operate devices based on sensor response. Finally, KDO provides an API that allows you to link additional MCUs to the ESP in order to add extra GPIOs or do functions that are not natively supported. We will go over each of the features one by one in the next videos. Let's start with a basic one that uses KDO to control four relay modules. Therefore, our initial step is to install KDO firmware on our ESP board. I'm going to use an ESP32 board for this project, but you could also use an ESP8266. Personally, I favor ESP32 over ESP8266 since it has a faster processor and more GPIO ports, allowing for much larger projects to be developed. To obtain the KDO firmware, visit the KDO official website at egycad.com. Then select the Downloads option. Here you can find firmware for the ESP8266 and the ESP32. Since I'm using the ESP32, I'll download the ESP32 firmware. In addition, we must download ESP Flash tools in order to install firmware into our ESP microcontroller. We've downloaded all of the binaries, so let's get started with the flashing. The ESP32 KDO firmware is made up of four binary files. First, open the ESP flash and choose binaries as well as their addresses. The KDO binaries are well organized. Every binary file will be found in a folder named after the binary's address. Then, select DIO as the SPI flash mode, and 80 MHz as the SPI speed. Also, ensure that the Do Not Change Bin checkbox is checked. Select the ESP32 COM port and the baud rate of 921600. First, press the Erase button, which will wipe your ESP32's old firmware. 
Sometimes, we may need to press the boot button on the ESP32 board to start uploading. Then, click the start button to begin uploading the KDO firmware. After uploading has been done, press the reset button to bring ESP32 board in config mode. Now let's move on to the next part. Before I get into the KDO application in depth, I'd want to describe the circuit schematic I'm using for this project. I'm using a 4 channel 5 volt relay module for this project. Because it is an active low relay, we must send a low signal to its data pins to activate it. The relay module's data pins are wired to GPIO 23. 22, 21, and 19. Four AC lights are connected to four relays. This is our circuit, as you can see. This is a four channel 5 volt relay module. Four AC lamps are linked to four relays. The four data pins of the relay module IN1 to IN4 are connected to the ESP32 board's GPIO 23, 22, 21, and 19. The relay module's VCC and ground pins are connected to a 5 volt power supply. That concludes the circuit, now we will proceed to the KDO app. So we've completed the firmware portion. Let us now concentrate on the app. Open the Google Play Store, search for KDO, and then select the KDO app by Educad. Select the Install option. After installation, launch the app and register an account. Since I already have an account, I'll log in. We already spoke about how to upload KDO firmware to an ESP32. After uploading, the ESP32 will set up a Wi-Fi network in order to receive the information file. Connect your phone to the ESP Wi-Fi network first. After you've connected, open the KDO app and choose the configuration option. It took some time, but the configuration page eventually appeared. Because we are utilizing an active low relay, set the relay mode to active low under the general configuration. Now we'll go to the device table and choose our devices one by one. Select the device type as on off, and repeat the same for four devices. Then, pick the GPIO that will be used. I am going to pick GPIO 23, 22, 21, and 19. Finally, click the tick in the upper right corner to send the information file to the ESP board. Following that, the configuration page will appear. We have to provide our router's Wi-Fi network information as well as a name for our ESP unit. After saving the setup, the unit will connect to the router's Wi-Fi network and the internet. 
Now that our setting is complete, the application dashboard will appear. We can see four buttons for our four devices here. Clicking on any device icon will turn the device on or off. A long press on any device icon will open the device details page. You can also use voice control to operate your devices. As we have already seen, there are two areas in the configuration, Info, which contains information about the unit's structure and GPIOs, and Configuration, where we have entered our Wi-Fi credentials. It is important to remember that the Info file cannot be modified. If you want to alter anything in the Info file, you must erase the flash and reflash the firmware using the ESP flash download tools. However, by pressing the config button for 3 seconds, the device will generate a configuration Wi-Fi network to which you can connect and alter the unit configuration. In addition to this info file, there is a section called Indicators. There are two indicators in total, one for Wi-Fi and one for config. Wi-Fi LED indicator indicates Wi-Fi status. Blinking indicates that the router Wi-Fi network is being searched for, and turned on indicates that the router Wi-Fi network is connected. In the same way, if the config LED is blinking, it implies the unit is in configuration mode, and if it is turned on, it signifies the unit is connected to the internet. We may now connect your KDO accounts to Amazon Alexa and Google Home. So begin with Alexa. Open the Amazon Alexa app, then select the Devices tab, and then select your Smart Home Skills. Click on Enable Smart Home Skills. Enter KDO in the search field, then click KDO. To enable the KDO skill, click Enable TOUs. Sign in with your KDO account. Your KDO account is now linked to Alexa on Amazon. You can now control your smart devices using the Amazon Alexa app, and supported devices such as, the Echo Dot and Echo Show. Similarly, we may link our KDO account to Google Home. Open the Google Home app and then select the Add Device button. Select the Works with Google option. Enter KDO in the search field, then click KDO. Sign in with your KDO account. Your KDO account is now connected to Google Home. And you may control your smart devices using the Google Home app and supported devices. So we ended this video here. I hope you can learn something new from this video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching.